Hello everyone, it's me, Servant for Him, and yes, it's probably a little weird that I'm using a My Little Pony for a prior video, but you know, Victory Heart is my OC and I did spend a lot of time getting customized. You know, I'm the only avatar, I just feel like I was going to be the one speaking because... I'm not doing a big surveil anytime soon, so... Anyway, I'm going to get onto my haul, and I'm going to be going in the order that I bought these briars, and I already opened them all because... <laughs> I couldn't wait, I'm sorry. Anytime they came in the mail, I just had to open them. So, but I'm going to be going in the order that I got them, and some of them have a little special story behind them, but I'm going to try to keep it short so that way you can fit under 15 minutes because that's as long as I can export. Let's go! Alright, so the first briar fest purchase that I did technically was my ticket models, and when you go to Briarfest, ticket models are the horses that come automatically with your ticket. So I'm a huge stablemates collector, so I decided to go with the four day ticket models. So that way, I really, really wanted Erin the most. I really wanted her. <laughs> I'm going to be showing them in order like of the way I like them the most. And first we have Jersey. Jersey, I, I'm not a fan of this mold. Please don't hate me, please don't hate me. I just, I don't really like this mold very much. I like his color and I like that he's glossy. But yeah, that's Jersey. I got a really kind of like um, yellowy one. I mean, I, I like his color, I like his detail. Um, because of being a Briarfest horse, I feel like he just had a natural extra detail to him that I really like. And second is Orkney, who I actually thought was going to be my least favorite, but I actually really like him. Seeing him in gloss, I got a deep golden one. A lot of people said that like theirs looked kind of yellow. He looked like he just had too much gold, almost like a decorator. But mine, he's yellow right here. But other than that, he's pretty like a deep like amber gold. And so I actually really like that thick gold color. And I love his little hooves. They're so cute. So, he is actually my third favorite. And then we have Sky. Sky, I was actually really worried about because in the picture, she looked really black. And I was like, she looked like she was black with like this color, mane and tail. And I thought, ew, ugly. Like, I like the mold, but oh, yuck. And then people were talking about how she looked like chocolate when they got her. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She is black. But when I actually got her in person, she actually is actually a deep, rich um, bay color. She's a really dark brown, almost black, but she's not black. If it's an, and this isn't very orange. It's actually more of like a really light um, chestnut. See, if you see here, it's a lot more brown than Jersey is. So I actually really like her a lot, a lot better in person. And last but not least, the stable lane I wanted the most is Erin! I wanted her so, so bad. I love this mold and I especially love how I've been saying my biggest thing about her is how her back looks like um, how the sky looked when I went stargazing for astronomy. And um, that was just a really fun highlight in my college career. I also got a picture of a nebula on my phone which I'll include that in the video right here if I still have it downloaded onto my phone. I know I printed it out, but I'll show you the photo of the nebula. And she just reminded me of that night and I just had, had, had to get her. So I'm very glad with my single day stable mates. Second Firefest purchase was this custom Magnolia. And she is so beautiful. I got her from a Briar customizer on Instagram and she had three unicorn stable mates for sale that she said were all test pieces that had, you know, like flaws or whatever. And she was only $10 and I just love her so much. I bought her like a day or two before Briar Fest and I just love her shimmery coat and her mane and she's just, oh, she is my first custom. I've never had like a custom briar from you know a well-known customizer and she's just the shading like this isn't shadow this is actually gray paint shaded to show off her muscles and i just i love her so 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 much now my first briar purchase of briar fest weekend was 
Reggie. I love him so much. He is my first Briar traditional and there's actually a really important story about him. So when I got, as I mentioned, the four pack, three day, you know, ticket, um, I really wanted to get a traditional out of Briarfest. I just really thought, you know, I don't collect traditionals, but I kind of really want one and Briarfest would be just the perfect time to get one. And I was honestly regretting that I did not buy him. I was, I was seeing him in pictures, arriving at people's houses, and I'm like, dang, I wish I had bought him. You know, I, I actually really like Reggie. His colors and everything were beautiful, and I, I just wish I would have gotten him. And so then, as we all know, we went to Briarfest. The store was not working in the morning, and it was really frustrating. And I had my plans. I was going to get Greenman and all the other ones that I got. And I had a budget of $100 for Briarfest. So, you know, and he was $50. I could have just bought in, you know, the three day access ticket, which would have done nothing except give me Reggie. But I just thought, nah, I don't want to spend that much. And then while the site was down on Instagram, uh, a fellow Briar collector had two extra Reggies that she was willing to sell. And I was thinking, ah, you know, they're going to be $50. She probably wants her money back, you know, and, you know, she wants her money's worth of them. But I, I messaged her and she was actually selling him for $35, which was definitely in my budget. And it's the amount I would have spent on Greenman. And I ended up not getting him because I got Reggie. And I'm so, so, so happy. Uh, that I got Reggie. He's beautiful and he sits on my desk and I'm so glad to finally have a traditional and he is definitely a special one indeed. His story just shows that, you know, had the Briarfest store been up and running, I would have bought Greenman and would not have had the money for Reggie. As I said on my Instagram, you know, God will grant you the desires of your heart and, you know, so as frustrating as it was that the store wasn't down, it was through the store being down that I was able to get Reggie, who is a model that I actually enjoy a lot more than Greenman. And of course, I just had, had, had to get my first purchase of Briarfest. I bought him on Friday. I spent hours refreshing to get Mackenzie. He's so, so cute. And my Mackenzie is number 594 out of a thousand. And I'm planning on putting him in my car so he can travel with me wherever I go. And he is so, so sweet. He's so soft. And I just, I can't get over Mackenzie. He's so cute. I'm a sucker for plush animals. I have had a plush horse in my hands for as long as I can remember growing up. And I love him so, so much and I can't wait for him to be put in Castian so I can take him wherever I go on all my travels in my car and I just love, 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 love him so much. Next purchase I made was on Saturday and this was actually the afternoon my time, you know, because the whole Briarfest is in Eastern time and I'm in Pacific time, you know, in Arizona. So I was like, what the heck? I was able to get a bean from Infinity Briars and I was really excited because you know I to actually own one of her briars was really really cool and I didn't realize until after I bought him that this is Joey from Warhorse and I actually have the Black Beauty and book set from Briar and I also have a White Andalusian stallion that looks like Zanzibar from Phantom Stallion by Terry Farley and I decided that I finally found my Briar collecting goal. I am going to collect the model horse and book sets because I love books and I love horses and what is better than combining the two. Now this was my second and final purchase from the actual Briarfest store. I ended up spending my money a lot at different places as you can tell, but I was able to snag an airy. And again, I had to refresh his page and I took, you know, the advice that I did with Mackenzie and refreshed his page and I sat there refreshing for probably about, hmm, I'm gonna say it was like two hours to get him. I had to refresh for 11 hours to get Mackenzie, but it was only two hours to get Aerie. And after that, I was done with the Briarfest store, so I was able to chill out the rest of the day. And I love Aerie so much. He has like a gold um, iridescence to him, which really pretty. I didn't realize until after I saw his pictures that he's actually like um, translucent. And then it's really pretty. If you tilt him on the side, you can see he has these little bubbles which is so cool. I love that and I love his little Celtic knots of the clover and I love his little gold toes and the little clear ankles. He's so, so handsome 
and I love him so much and I'm so glad I got my hands on Airy. On to the last purchase I made at Briarfest and this was Sunday night. Unfortunately, um, due to hours and scheduling at work, I had to work the last day of Briarfest, but I went to um, my only Briar dealer, which is Walmart where I live, and I was really hoping that they would have a staple mate that I was looking for, and they actually had three. So one was I was able to get the chase piece from this wave of unicorns, the Rainbow Magnolia. So now I have this entire line of Briar unicorns, which I was very happy. And I also got my first Briar Lusitano. And I'm trying really hard not to die laughing when I look at this one because this is the mold that Infinity Briars used in her video when it was... They were like trying to steal spaceship and this one, it was this mold, but it was white and it's like, you know, like, oh gosh, what did it say? Oh, now I remember what he said. He was literally like, <laughs> and it was just so funny. And then I have a horse on that mold. I just literally look at it in here. Back away here, you're going to get shot. And it's just so funny. And I really love Lusitano's Star Stable really made me enjoy them a lot. And the last one, this was my grail for a long time because, as I said, I'm a stable mate collector. I wanted a Gypsy Vanner stable mate. I wanted one so bad. They just look like a carousel horse and they're so pretty and I just, I love them and I've just been looking for one. I found him! He was the only one at Walmart and I was so, so, so happy. I was like, yes! And I finally have a Gypsy Vanner stable mate and I'm so, so, so happy. I just love how he's like kicking up his feathers and just his mane and ugh, I love him so much. And I also kind of wanted cheesecake, so it really worked out because I was able to get a traditional horse and a Gypsy Vanner, but I didn't have to pay $85 for cheesecake, so it worked out. Or maybe he was $80, $75 I think is how much he was. So instead of spending $70 on cheesecake, I was able to get, you know, the cheesecake mold and a traditional. And it didn't, and it cost me like $40 versus the $75. Now, of course, you're probably wondering what my favorite Briar was out of all the ones that I got. And this was my first Briar Fest. And I'm so, so thankful they did it virtual because, you know, I live all the way in Arizona. And to make the trip to Kentucky where I'm at right now just really isn't possible. I really didn't start getting into Briars until about, it was a little over a year ago when I actually really started getting into Briars. So maybe one day I'll be able to go to Briarfest in Kentucky. I would love to. It's definitely something I'd love to do. But right now, it's just not really, you know, a reality. So virtual Briarfest was a blessing from God. It was so amazing. So many people. Briar said that a hundred different countries were able to go. 100 countries that's insane not only the people from different countries but people with health issues so these people were able to enjoy something that they never would have been able to enjoy had it not been virtual and so i get that briarfest had its ups and downs but i think at the end of the day everyone was able to get at least one briar that they liked and i think it was a amazing time it was well worth it it was worth the 75 dollars i paid for a ticket and i would do it again in a heartbeat that's my Briarfest haul, and I hope you guys who did go to Briarfest got some cool swag as well, and I will see you guys in my next video. God bless you!